Before we start, like the video or I am taking your cat. Many weaker or free players ask, what should I get or focus on? We don't have a chance versus strong players. While this is true, let me give you an idea of how to defend versus those players. Before I go on be sure to check the video I made about March capacity impact on tests. I will use two accounts. This test is going to give you an idea what is the most logical way of investing when you are trying to protect yourself from super whales if you are really a weak player. Be warned. This video is a crazy one. How the test is done? HQ30 with 0 stats versus a maxed whale with generation 8 heroes and plasma 8 with red gear and ketchup so there won't be any excuse for you. Now, in this case, the whale has a massive amount of troops but his march is limited. Even if he got millions of troops, his solo march is very limited. There are four main factors of power in this game. The stats, the troop rank and tier, the hero skills, the troop capacity. What we are trying to do here is calculating or give you an idea of how many troops does it takes to resist a march attack from a max player. We assume something impossible because by the time max players reach this stage you should be at least half of his stats as a free player. But we will still do the test assuming you are naked. We will use 100 troops with generations 8. And we will consider those 100 troops as a full march. We will use 10,000 troops as a start, then keep a just troops number to find the exact amount in which you could resist an attack. So basically 100 troops are the max march solo attack. This means for every single troop a max player uses is equal to 100 troops of the zero stats player. 100 troops to 10,000 troops means. If the max player uses 100k solo attack, it means the defending troops are 10 million troops in order to provide the same results as the 100 to 10k. And 10,000 troops is the full amount of the settlement troops, in which we are using on this case. So the first attack on the 10k troops So the first attack on the 10k troops, as you can see it did not resist the attack, we will increase it more until we get the resist point. 100 troops versus 12,500 troops. It looks to me that at the current stage in order to resist a 100k troop of a maxed player you will need about 12,500 troops which is 12.5 million tier 10 with zero stats before you are getting zeroed. Let's apply magic. Let's assume that you only got the last generation of heroes and were really patient. In this test we will use a hero that is colonel versus an enemy general. The same amount of march that we used before. As you can see the difference is insane. You went from the need of 125 troops into way less. Let's drop it even more.
even more. Right now it reached the point of needing only 10 troops to defend versus a maxed player. Do you understand how insane is that? We have no plasma, no chief gear, no badges, no hero gears, no research, nothing. These are tier 10 fighting tier 11. Imagine if you had any stats at all. So by saving enough fragments only you will be able to save yourself from the enemy attacks. Now hear what you need to do. The more troops you got. The more this will work. You have no limit of how many troops that you could hold. While Max Player has a limited amount of solo capacity that he could use to attack you. But again the question is how do I defend myself until I get enough fragments to get those heroes. Use the current broken heroes until generation 7 and 8 comes out. Nanami, Becca and Roxy if you could. Roxy comes every Sunday and every week. You could buy 10 fragments and the newer the generation the cheaper she gets. Rise her until she is colonel which is one third of the cost. When either generation 7 or 8 comes you only need to rank them until all the skills are level 5. Another thing is. Rush chief levels. Get it up to 55 so you will be able to get the insane troop training speed allowing you to train much faster. I will give you a guide on how much you can earn of chief exp for free. Use your speed ups in a way to turn your settlement into fortress. For example from generation 1 until generation 7. You should always train more infantry than the rest. To get more than 60% infantry allowing you to maintain the formation even inside your base. During the time from generation 7 to 8. Train riders only using speed ups. If you got less than 1 million troop and you want to hide them. Here are some broken methods you could use. The friendly buildings. Use the bunker or your alliance towers as it's impossible to hit then unless the enemy got a tower stuck into them. And always make sure to be on your territory to get the buff. The Lembo mode is basically hiding yourself until you come online. And to do this you either need friends or four farms who has wall destroyers and it doesn't take much time to get one wall destroyers level per farm. The farm doesn't need to be more than HQ7. And with the upcoming digging changes it's so easy to do. You will attack yourself with the wall destroyers. While you are logged off with the account that needs protection. Hence your headquarter will disappear from the map and never to be seen again unless you log back in. And you can do that three times per day as the wall destroyer needs eight hours cool down. So it's like infinity shield. Let's say an enemy attacked your troops and you have almost been zeroed. I advise you to never take out your troops from your enlistment unless you are ready as they will stay protected forever until you collect them. The enlistment capacity is four times your hospital so it can hold a lot. There will be even more guides to help you so stay tuned.